Now we start to test the GA0 line, GSM alarm box. This is the input wire. We need to prepare a DC12 power supply and also need to prepare a SIM card. Firstly, we insert the SIM card from this side. And then plug the input wire. It has totally 10 wires. From the left side, input 1, input 2, to input 8. And the black one is the GND, and the brown is the RST wire. Before programming, we need to short it together. Any wire shorted to the GND, it will trigger the alarm, will start to send the alarm SMS. On the GSM box, there are two LED, GSM LED and MCU LED. When it, after power on, MCU LED will serve first in a minute, and after some seconds, GSM LED will start to flash. First, they flash quickly, around twice every second. And after connected to the GSM LED, it will start to flash slowly, around once every two seconds. We don't need to move the DIP switch, just keep it in the digital side. Don't move it to the on side. Okay, and now we start to power on. MCU LED firstly in it, and the GSM LED start to flash. Firstly, flash quickly, and after some seconds, it will flash quick slowly. Okay, now the device is already connected to the to the GSM LED. Also, for the MCU LED, when received one SMS, it will flash sometimes quickly to show the status. And then if it start to reply the SMS, it will flash slowly sometimes. Okay, now we start to use the APP to program the device. This GSM alarm app can be downloaded from the Apple Store or Google Play Store. First, add a new device. We can give any name to the device. Access control name, my GSM, any name. Access control number must be noted. This is the device SIM card number. Lot the mobile phone number. Select type. Press the add button. Now we have a device in the app. Device name and the device SIM card number. Okay, start to program. Press the config button. First, we need to program the mobile phone number into the device. When the alarm happens, it can send the SMS or dial the phone. Set up the alarm numbers. Program the number to receive the alarm SMS. Totally, we can program three numbers with one SMS. For example, just use my mobile phone number. Press the confirm button. Okay. We check the MCU LED status. Send. MCU LED still, when received the SMS, it will start to flash quickly. Then, if reply, flash slowly. OK, received the reply SMS. Tell OK. OK, we back. Program the numbers to receive the alarm phone calling. OK, after programmed, the device can dial the number. So that means SMS number and the phone dial number that is separate can be set up different numbers. Here. 
I use the same numbers, my mobile phone number. Confirm. Send a message. Check the LED status. Okay, receive the SMS. Okay, reply the SMS. Okay, receive the confirm SMS. Dial okay. Now the device can send the SMS and also dial mobile mobile phone when the alarm happened back. Of course, we also need to configure the alarm working mode. We select the SMS and also number dial calling alarm. Press send. Check the status. Received the SMS. Reply the SMS. Okay, SMS and the phone calling report. During test, if you only received the SMS, but the device cannot reply the SMS, please check if your mobile phone number already programmed into the device. And also check the input wire, the wire, RSD wire and the GND wire should be shorted. Okay. And now we start to test the alarm. We just use the input one to test, short it. Okay, short it. Okay, send the SMS. Okay, received message. Okay, also received the dial. So if I reject the the calling, it will die again. If I pick up the phone calling, it will not die again. Okay, pick up. Okay, and then the test is finished. For the APP, we have some other settings. NC port setting, receiving log, and the device auto report timer. For the DC, Device report auto report timer. That means if you need the device to report the status to you every some hours, for example, every one day, you can set up the timer. If you don't need it, don't need the auto report, you can set up the timer to zero. For other settings, you can check our manual. Of course, for the alarm SMS, the Content text, you can customize it with the SMS. That's all. Thank you.